a simple task. Okay, it's time for the show off with this motherfucker. Hmm. And now what? I, well, it got spoiled to me what will be the last of um, these levels about. I wonder. I will have to, well, because he's a mage, well, obviously, I will need some protection against magic and shit. I think I'm just gonna buy some I'm potions. Done. Let's see. And I keep my current setup. Well, relatively. Spell frost. Yeah, definitely. I need some spell frost. This, I think he will protect himself quite well. Everything else seems fine. The concoctor says he can hardly believe you get to face Bayloth next. Those who fought him before have all died. Sometimes I'm afraid we'll never be free of that wicked drow. Knowing that the great big mushroom believes in me will give me the strength to crush my foes. Before you face Bayloth, the concoctor has a gift for you. Oh. He's been working on it for a long time, hoping that someone like you might come along to make use of it. Doesn't it strike you as odd that this mushroom creature makes potions? Not many machinids can make such potions. In fact, only their kings can brew them. This concoctor is a king? Machinids are social creatures. Only their kings stand apart from their huddled circles to brew these fabulous concoctions inside their own bodies. How did the concoctor end up with you then? Well, the concoctor was apart from his people. A band of drow raided the Myconid Grotto. The Dark Elves prized certain Myconid organs for their magical properties. When the Concoctor returned with his latest brew, he found his people slaughtered. I imagine that's a common problem for people who look like tasty mushrooms. He left the grotto, searching in vain for any other survivors. Of course, there were none. Then one day, the Concoctor found me lying injured from a fall and healed me with one of his drafts. With all of his people gone, he's looked after me ever since. So you're a kind of a mushroom by adoption? Well, I suppose you're right. Anyway, your success in the Black Pits has given us both hope that we'll be able to wander the Underdark again soon, free from this insane drow in his entertainments. Thanks for sharing your story. What did I get? Oh, we pushed the power. Perfect. I'll put that to good use. What must I do? No trouble at all. Uh, that's some money. Oh, yeah. Nope. I don't know if that's actually worth it. I don't need intelligence, that doesn't do anything for me. Fortitude, nope. Clarity, yes. Agility, no strength, no insight, no. Well, to be fair, why not? Mind focusing. That's good because of um, the dexterity. I might actually buy two. Magic blocking. Magic shielding though. Yep. Magic protection. I don't need that one. Fire res, cold res, freedom. Uh, 
defense. Uh, fire giant, maybe? That's 22. There is no cloud giant or stuff like that, nah. Fair enough. Bunch of fuel giant strength, oil of speed. I could buy one. <coughs> Not bad. And just buy 10 of these. Yeah. Wow. Full house. A simple task. Okay. You have anything? You must be very proud of yourself. Well, that won't last. Pelos will tear you to pieces. You sound as if you'd enjoy seeing that. You have no more right to trespass on Durgar territory than that wretched drow has. Nothing would please me more than to destroy you both, yeah? In your own way, you've been helping me get close enough to kill Bailoff. When Bailoff dies, it must be at my hand and my hand alone. I will not allow you or anyone else to steal my revenge. Why don't you help me fight him? Help you? An outsider? Ladiger curse me if I ever raise a hand to aid you. Uh... Or maybe you can just win him over with your obvious charm and diplomacy. Oh, look at the time I was going. <laughs> if that's the way you feel, there's no point talking to you. Uh, you know what, this is good. You must be... You have no more right to trespass on Durgar territory than that... When Bailoff dies, it must help you, an outsider? Okay, Ladiger curse prick. me if I ever raise a hand to aid Purchase what you want quickly, outsider. I have no wish to speak with you. Tell me something, Tardak. How does it feel to betray your own people? A Durga's first duty is to himself! If I had resisted Baylot, I would have perished just as you shall when he deals with you in the arena. It might be the other way around. I wonder what your people will do with you after I free them. Really, that's it? Purchase so, what you want quickly, outsider. A Durgo's first duty is to himself! I might surprise you, I'm If I had resisted Baylot, I would have perished just okay, as you so shall. The, then he deals the with you in the arena. I guess you knew what you were in for after all. There's more to me than meets the eye. And don't you forget. You're not so bad for an outsider. I hope you don't end up like the last champion who fought Bayloth. You know what would help? Some new weapon. Uh, Bayloth made his last mistake when he chose me for his entertainment. Don't be overconfident. Bayloth is treacherous. Don't expect him to face you alone. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, no new weapons, as far as I can tell. Best I can get is plus two. This is shit. I never thought this day would come again. Surely Bailoth will have to f fight you now. The last time this day came, it didn't work out well. Oh, I You've done already... even better than the last champion. Yeah, I to You're not j just a, a great pit fighter. You're a real hero. Actually, Arrows of Detonation would do well, but I think I'm gonna be alright. Hail, champion of the Black Pit. May Ladiger protect you in the battle to come. Hail to you, champion. If not as if I haven't been, you know, fighting for my life. Listen, friend, I shouldn't refer to you as a friend, but you've done so much for my people's morale already. Can I impose on you as a friend? Yeah, sell me your shit for free. <laughs> what do you have in mind? While I am forbidden from speaking to Magda, you are not. Will you pass her a message for me? 
Why not? Tell her that every day I've gone without talking to her has been agony. I pray for Ladiga to free us from our oppressor so he can be reunited. You sound confident the battle will fail. I did not have much hope until recently. The one other time Baylos fought a champion, our hopes were dashed. This time, something tells me it will be different. Yeah, I have the power of reload. <laughs> That's for sure. You can count on it. Do you have anything? No. Okay, right. I guess you knew what you were in for after all. Listen, Brandak asked me to give you a message. He's... He says it's been hard for him not to talk to you and he prays Belov dies soon so he can tell you so himself. He asked you to tell me that? Aww. What a risk he took! If Beloth were to find out... Oh, my dear brave Brendak, thank you for relaying his words. You know what would help? Some new weapons, show what you got. No, you don't get shit. You've done better than spit in his eye. You've made Peloth hopping mad. With luck, I will do more than that soon. We all hope so. But if we were free to act, we would help you. Well, perhaps not all of us. What do you mean? It is a matter best left to us, Durgar. It is strange enough that we find ourselves indebted to an outsider. We must take care of the traitor ourselves. Great, I'll just stand back and watch. It's about time I didn't have to do all the heavy lifting by myself. It would be best if you and the other non durka left as quickly and quietly as possible after Baylor's demise. While a few of us understand what you are doing for us, the rest of the clan will not take kindly to the presence of outsiders. What a bunch of... Nah, it's okay. I see perhaps it's best that I slip away. Yeah, it's their territory. I understand. I understand. Balance shield. Ha. Hi, Kitty. Now you have gone too far. Baloth will not stand for this insolence. If by insolence you mean my many triumphs, well, then I still don't understand. You were not brought here to triumph. You were brought here to die. It is Baylot's first rule that everyone is brought to the Black Pits to die. Everyone but the audience and special guests like you, right? That's right. But you give me an interesting idea. Perhaps it is time that Baylot changed the rules of the Black Pits. I call shenanigans. You're up to something. What is it? You shall see soon enough. And you will wish that you had never annoyed me. <laughs> I am not afraid of you, Rakshasa. And you're gonna sell me your shit to help me. Actually, you don't have anything. Uh, this is useful. It reflects all electrical damage back to the source. Could be useful, actually. I might actually just buy it. Oh, it's... Wow. It costs a lot of money. Hmm... I won't... Okay. I won't need this because I'm gonna drink a potion. A simple task. So boom. Buy this because this is really good. Oh yeah, that's not too bad, is it now? Cool. Um, hmm. Consider it done. Half elf. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you must. You want to give me a hand with that? Can not mind wounded incomplete. 
I'd feel worse about that if I didn't see that hungry look when you stare at my skull. You must defeat Melath. Doesn't matter. It's, his soul is broken. Ooh. Actually... And I could also take the battle as a passport, but yeah. All right. Well. Fucking slave ring. That slaving must be. Also, it's one per day now. Okay, that's cool. That's not too good, but it's all right. All right, that goes there. I'm gonna pick that up. That might actually help me for something. Hmm. How much money do I have? All right, let's. No trouble at all. Hey! The concoctor says he's become your biggest fan! He's glad you've done so well in the arena! Oh, Can I show you some fan. of our new potions? Oh, fuck. Right. Alright, this is it, Luigi. Going all out. 13. A simple task. Uh, that lasts for 12 hours. next what's the next best thing one hour three turns okay whatever two hours six hours okay just to have some wisdom to help me with the saving throws Returns. Uh, okay, that's two hours. That's two hours. That's two hours. This is two hours as well. That's one hour. Two hours. Wait a second, I might have fucked it up. This is it, and then we're gonna go and... It doesn't do shit for me at this point, so I'm just gonna do this. 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I could have that. Alright. One day? Oh my god. Right. Now we're in for it. How would that work? I wonder if the potion of freedom is actually... The drinker becomes completely immune to any effects that influence action or movement, whether it is magical in origin or not, delicious to ours. So I don't know if that's actually useful for me. I'll just keep it. If I'm screwed or something. If I get screwed, I might actually... Just need it. If I have a problem with getting stuck, then yes, I will. I'll drink it, but for now it's fine. I'm gonna keep the haste potion for later and now it's time so that's three turns that's four turns that's three turns great now it's time for the usual buffing no not that one that one I won't fuck this up. Uh, next should be this one. And now what? Good. Like this one. Oh, I'm becoming soapy now. And even that one. I'm ready. for task. Am 
I ready? Yes, I am. Considering <laughs> Ah, you have returned! Had I known you would grow to become such a thorn in my side, I would have left you where I found you. You must be very proud of defeating all of the challenges that the great Bailoth has placed before you. How furious you must think I am. <laughs> Surely you are on the very edge of freedom. <laughs> no. No escape. No more tricks. No more performances. No more last minute victories. Your lives end here. But at least your wish will be granted. I will personally face you in combat. Your antics grew stale long ago. Garrick, draw your blade and enter the arena with me. You and I shall bleed these creatures to death. Oh. With pleasure, Baloth. I was hoping you would grant me the honor of cutting down these impertinent mortals. <sighs> What's so? Baloth! Grant me a place at your side in this battle! I wish to see these creatures slaughtered first hand! Bitch. Traitor! How could mine own cousin side with our oppressor? You have driven me to it, cousin, with your whispered insinuations. By standing with this drow, you admit your guilt? I won't deny it any longer. Baloth found me before he came to our vault. He spared my life in exchange for information on our defenses. This is mighty spells. He would have overcome them anyway. Why should I have sacrificed my life to buy the rest of you just a little time? Huh. You are no blood of mine, you foot-licking craven. You betrayer. I'll destroy you myself. You are welcome to try, cousin. You cannot hope to succeed when I stand beside Baloth. Such a dramatic turn of events. Gorch, would you mind repeating that splendid rant of indignation on the arena floor? <laughs> I thought not. Garrick, Thardek, to me! Together we will traumatize these tenacious troopers. Ah, oh, great. Well, my first place should be the Rakshasa. They are nasty. Hi, bro. I thought they were joking. Thanks to Rick Dark. That's good at how sleepy you are, you. You know what? Why can't I hit them? Well, 
It's me against the world, baby. No protections, no nothing. Doesn't take damage. He dispelled almost everything on me. What I do? Hmm? That's bad. Consider it done. Oh, I'm stunned. Assist me, you worthless automatons! Oh fuck. Well that's not cool. I can't hit him. I can't hit him for shit. No trouble at all. Ah, you have returned! And I know you're with me. You have I you you are such a dramatic turn of events. Yes. George, would you mind repeating that splendid rant of indignation on the arena's mind? I thought not. Derek, talk to me. Together we will traumatize these tenacious troopers. Oh. Really? to kill him before that. Before he summons the Oculus. Him. Oh, finally, I can hit him. Yes. What? I'm unconscious. Yeah, no more Oculus and shit. That spells death for no. me. No! My captives triumph over me? Yay! Me? The Bailoth, the entertainer? And now what? God, this is all a terrible cliche. Unworthy of my final What must I do? Entertain. No trouble at all. What? Oh. Ha! Oh my god. Freedom! With the death of this unworthy drow, the arcane shackles fall away from my soul. Now, as for the rest of you mortals. Uh oh. We're all friends here, right? Fear not! To demonstrate my gratitude, I will open a portal to transport you back to the surface world. Do not tarry long. The Durgar will not long suffer your presence in their domain. Speak to me again when you are ready to leave. What? You've done it! I admit at first I didn't think anyone could free us from that mad drow. Especially not you, anyway. Belos knew exactly how to torment me by keeping me from my beloved Magda. Thanks to you, I once more have her strength to add to my own. 
Despite our gratitude, you must not remain here for long. The other members of our clan will not take kindly to finding an outsider among us. Magda is right as usual. Go and take our thanks with you. We cannot defend you against our own people. You have my appreciation. I will not feast on your brain today. You're the best! Until you came along, I, I didn't realize how much Baloth had shaken my courage. I'll try to follow your example from now on and face all my challenges with confidence. The Concocta knew it from the start. You're a real hero. We'll tell everyone we meet in the Underdark about the champion of the Black Pits. Come now, mortal. I will not remain here any longer. Leave! Right. You cannot hope to defeat all of the Durgar. Oh, yes, I can. Make your escape, you fool. My brethren will not suffer the presence of an outsider any longer. I wanna see. Really? Where are they? I'll slaughter them all. No! No! I will not have this! I should have been the one to slay Baylos, not some miserable outsider! Oh, you wanna fight? Oh, come on! Yeah! Bro. A simple task. Uh oh, this guy's actually quite good. A simple task. No trouble at all. Oh, I'm gonna kill this guy. And now what? Consider it done. Come on now. No! No! I will not! Death will come swiftly over you. I must get proper treatment for my injury. How many layers do you have? There you go. That was all your part skin. My kill. Okay, I don't want to. Leave! You cannot hope to defeat all of the Durgar! This is indeed a lot. But I can. Come now, mortal! I will not remain here any longer. Oh, they're stout. Make your escape, you fool. My brethren will not suffer the presence of an outsider any longer. Okay, that's a bit too much now. Ho oh ho. Very well. Since you have elected to remain here among the Durgar, I will leave you to your fates. While I appreciate your sacrifices, I will not stand idly by and watch more of this blood sport. Wait, 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 I wanna go. <laughs> Alright. Well, 
Oh shit. Well, they will. They will win regardless. Let me see. I'm OP though. Kill them faster than they spawn. I don't think so. I think they just keep respawning. Yeah. Alright. I'll kill this fool one more time and then. No! No! I will not have. I'm Are you ready to leave the Black Pits? Aren't there supposed to be free wishes or something? Do not test my <laughs> patience, mortal. Alright, let's see my way to depart. Really? Deafened by the roar of the crowd, you watch as Bailoff and the, uh, the Entertainer collapses in death with the Drow slain, the Gears lifts from your spirit. You have performed the impossible freeing both yourself and the other captives of the Black Pits while the Durgar are grateful they can no longer tolerate the presence out the world. Why? Why isn't this voice acted? No longer tolerate the presence of the outsiders in their home. As they close in upon you, Neji merges you into a swirling portal to lead home to the surface world. This is stupid. Why didn't they voice act this or make this slower? You leap into the magical passage, uh, eager to leave the underdog behind as the black pits fade from your view. An unfamiliar sight takes shape on the other side. Boom. Well, that was the black pits. Next is the siege of Dragon Spear because that's basically the story between Baldur's Gate One and Baldur's Gate Two. Peace out. Thanks for watching.